Hi everybody. So I'm just cleaning up my car so that I'm able to put all the supercharger boxes into the car because to lift the, just the car, the to lift just the box itself is 70 pounds. So I'm just gonna put each separate box here. I'm gonna put the seats down, take out everything, and I'm gonna go give her a wash because she is very filthy from the outside and dirty on the inside. There we go we got the Flash Pro. Check them out. She's a beauty. I'm gonna be putting in the action clutch in the car. Uh, just gonna leave this one here for now. And then what we're gonna do is just gonna lay the boxes on the ground so then I can open them up and just review what I have inside first and then I'll be on my way to the car wash. And this booklet right here, it pretty much teaches you how to install it. But obviously I don't have the time for that because I don't have another car. So I'm just gonna have to send it off to a shop to do it for me. But sooner we will have another build and I'll be doing it on my own. All right, I'm just gonna stack them up, have them for my thumbnail. So, for this one, it's already open. I really don't want to... Okay, I think I can show you. I just don't want to take it out. There she is. There is the supercharger. Right there. Road tracks. Road tracks, all right. So, the I don't want to take it out because it was kind of difficult just to put it back in. You know, it's, it's in a weird position. I still have it the wrong way. But anyways, there's the power source right there. So, it does kind of look like uh, an actual turbo. So, some people do get that mistaken. Here's a little pamphlet, you know, explaining what it does, stuff like that. Pretty dope. See, there you go. Looks just like a turbo. Alright, we're going to try to get this quickly done. Because I do want to head out. I'm just going to leave these in here. And I'll organize them later. Let me take this GoPro right off my chest. I do have it on the chest mount. Alright. Alright, so this one's already open as well. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there we go. We got the fuel, the injections. Uh, these are the injectors, 1,000cc injectors. Now, I don't know, I've heard bad about these injectors, but some say they're good, some say they're bad. Let's just hope they work. I'm gonna have them tested though. So, all right, we got the cables to replace the other injector cables. Here we got, this is one of the sensors. This is very crucial, it's in here performance design all right here we go we got the fuel pump as well now i'm not even i'm not sure if the if this can support e85 but i will ask the tuner or i'm asked around in forums or something because it would be nice to know if this could uh, work with e85 so i can make even more power just with that now this how do you open this here it is all right, this isn't on the box. This is Civic Manifold Kit and an intake manifold. Oh, so let's open this up. Check that out right there. Check that out. It's a beauty. 
This is going to help a lot with airflow. Okay. Put the gasket here. And this will be put on here. I don't know why it's not already on there. But oh well. And here we got the hoses. Nice, nice. I'm glad this all came in a kit because I didn't want to have to be looking and searching and having to buy one by one. Now that's the good part about these kits is they literally have everything. I was going to buy uh, other injectors, but it came in the kit, so I don't need to do that yet. Talk to my tuner and we'll see if I have to buy bigger injectors just in case I do... Well, I guess in case it can support more power than we think it does. I just stack these up because I don't want to have to be bending over yet. All right, let's see what this says. I don't see the sticker, I guess. All right. This one says Civic Dry Assembly, Civic Belt and Pulley. All right. And it's heavy on one side. Alright. Whoa, there she is. This is the pulley system. Ooh. This is the pulley right here. Now, with just this pulley, it will make a good amount of power, but they do sell an even smaller one. And what the smaller one does, it'll actually help give me even more power. So that, that I'll do later on because from what I think, it should hit maybe near the 400s. And we're gonna be checking for boost leaks, all that. So that's my goal is to hit as close as I can to 400s. It does say 330 is like a hundred percent what it can do obviously with a tune it should be able to do more but with the slicks that i have on it it should help more without so that it doesn't just steer to one side i got to read what this one says civic oil cooler kit oil cooler all right there we go what's this oh here's our oil all right, so the good thing about a supercharger compared to a turbo, this is the benefits. So the turbo uses uh, the, uh, the motor's oil and that's what gets it from, that's what usually makes it heat up more. So the good thing about uh, a supercharger is that they come with their own oil on the side. So it's not even using any oil from the actual engine. So it'll be able to stay cooler and they'll be able to do a few more pulls than with having a turbo. That's the benefits. All right, here we go. We got all the lines here. I don't know what most of this stuff is, but I know a little bit. I did my research before buying this, so we should be doing fine. All right, there we go. Next, yes, it's a lot of boxes. What's this one? Battery tray kit. Ah, okay. So this is, I don't even know if I, I would have to do it, but this is a kit so that you're able to have more space in the engine bay. You can easily move your battery to another area with this kit. You just put your battery on here. I don't know what this is, but. Um, so what I'm hoping is that my battery actually fits in this tray. That's what I'm hoping for. But either way, we'll make it work. Put that in here. All right, three more. Let's put this over here. All right. Okay. Okay. 
This one says Civic Hose Kit. Hose Kit. I don't know what hoses these are. Oh, here we go. Like that. Skunk 2. Yeah, it's not just Craftwork stuff that's in there. Also, Skunk 2. I like it. I want to actually start putting them in the middle. Oh, look at that, they even come with zip ties. Nice, you know we're going to need those. If you ever built your car, you know zip ties are king. Especially when you don't have much money to fix up cars. Alright, we got two big boxes. I don't know if this is upside down because this is how I took it out of the box. But either way, what's this one say? Intercooler. Whoa, there we go. Intercooler. Okay. There's a bug over here. Ooh. Look at that. This is dope right here. Look at that. It literally comes. I can't really see with this. Now what this is for is to put it on top of the intercooler and you can spray paint or just paint this on the intercooler. Right there. So I'm going to ask uh, my tuner to see if he can do that for me. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to send it, they're going to put it on and everything and they're going to tune it. So that's the good part because they got their own shop on the side and they tune. So everything will be perfect. Wow, that's gonna look dope though. Or maybe I should just save it. No, I'll let them know. But it's a beauty right there. I'm so I'm so stoked. I've been waiting three months, three months, almost four months for this kit to come in. And I've waited almost a month just to have someone put it in. The other guy was it's pretty busy so i understand that well obviously i don't want to be waiting that long i want to before the winter comes i want to have a few races you know make some content Alright, oh, I didn't even check what this was. The Civic Charger tubing. Alright, this is the... Alright, there we go. This is the whole air filter. Oh, we got another one of these, Jones. Look at that. Look at this big baby right here. Ooh. This is the charge pipe right here. Oh, this is the charge pipe kit. Also from Crestwork. Oh, it'd be nice if it was from Skunk too. But well, we got the charge pipe. And that's pretty much it. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is head over to the car wash. I'm gonna meet up with some friends because I will not have a car to come back. So we're just gonna organize this stuff in the car and I'm gonna just head out and get my want my car washed because I do not want to take my car all dirty to the tuner. I don't want him to smell all that bad smells that I got in here. So I'll be back.